In this video, I'm going to be discussing the topic of SIM swaps. This is becoming a major attack vector, and we'll be looking at some details of SIM swaps. So what is a SIM swap? A SIM swap is when we swap cell phone meta information from one phone's SIM to another cell phone's SIM. And we're going to be using an example here. And I want to use the most down-to-earth example because <clears throat> there are some non-technical people that will probably like, what is a, a SIM card? And let's not worry about that. Let's just focus on the fact that when we have a cell phone with a SIM card that's connected to a network, and that network provides some meta information that would be like a cell phone number, um, and that cell phone number is going to be associated with, let's say, receiving calls. It's going to be associated with receiving text. It's also going to be associated with the apps that you install. That meta information is the information that can be swapped from one SIM, in this case that would be SIM A, to another SIM that would be SIM B. So we have two phones. We have the old phone with all the information, and it receives text calls and has apps associated with it. Then we have SIM B. This is a new cell phone. And what we want to do is we want to swap all of the uh, info or the meta information, I should say, from the old phone with SIM A to the new phone with SIM B. Why would we want to do that? Well, think about how convenient it is if your phone gets smashed, right? If you have this old phone and it's broken, it doesn't work, and you can't get access to it, well, you can just call up customer service and you can swap from uh, cell phone or, I'm sorry, old phone with SIM A to new phone with SIM B, okay? <clears throat> Now keep in mind that following the SIM swap, the new cell phone with SIM B now receives the text, calls, uh, and has the apps associated with it, okay? So what that means is it's, it's super convenient, right? Uh, but keep in mind, convenience is not secure. So when people are talking about SIM swaps like they're a good thing, they're forgetting that this is something that hackers can also use, okay? And guess what? Hackers love SIM swaps. They have numerous ways to SIM swap your phone. First of all, they can socially engineer customer service, right? They can pretend to be you and they can get all of your information. And that's very easy because people provide so much of their details online nowadays. They can also bribe customer service, right? So even if they don't uh, provide any information about you to customer service and pretend to be you, they can always bribe someone. They can say, hey, this person does business with your cell phone company, so we'll pay you $20,000 if you SIM swap it to our phone, right? And then, of course, the other thing that we've seen recently is hacking company and doing the SIM swap. So they actually hacked the company server and they actually just did the SIM swap without uh, any employees. So that's another target. So uh, an earlier example of this was this article here that you can find on Medium called Tis the Season to be Sim Swapped. You can see the publication date. This was four years ago. Uh, Sim swapping it was is and still is very popular in the crypto community. We are now starting to see it become popular in the mainstream banking community. It's because mainstream banks are overusing uh, cell phones for identification. Cell phones are not secure for the record. Uh, but think about last week's topic where we discussed linkability, right? Everybody is linking their cell phone to all of this information about them, okay? So as more people link their information or their details or their bank accounts, et cetera, to their cell phone, your cell phone becomes a target. And then of course you can see on, this is the Federal Trade Commission, there's a warning about uh, SIM swap scams, how to protect yourself. I am not agreeing or disagreeing with any of this information. What I will say is when you are looking to protect yourself in security, you should not ever be taking free advice on the internet because for every strategy, there is a counter strategy and hackers will use those counter strategies. So a hacker will read this site very carefully because they are going to develop counter strategies on this. Now, there is a really big scary fact about <clears throat> SIM swaps. And that scary fact is many people in the technical field who I work with have never heard of SIM swaps. Uh, in the last five years, in fact, when I brought it up with technical people, 0% of people knew what that was before talking with me. And that's scary. And that is the case even to this day. Most people you talk to, if you go to like a technical meetup, let's say I go to a, a SQL Server meetup or I go to a MongoDB meetup, most people will have never heard of a SIM swap. They have no idea what this is. <clears throat> That's why you have uh, so many companies out there, uh, even in the technical community, yeah, provide us with your cell phone so that we can do two-factor authentication. That is not even remotely safe. You should not be asking for that information. Keep in mind, these are cybersecurity people who should know better. And yet, even they're doing it without realizing it. So it's it's very frightening. Uh, what was it the other day? I saw a post on this one cybersecurity community forum thing. And several people were, uh, what was it? 
mentioning that they had never heard of a SIM swap before. It was brought up, and they were like, I had never even heard of that. And I'm like, and these people work in cybersecurity. They've never heard of this. So, yes, it's, it's pretty frightening. So where are we seeing SIM swaps? Well, early on, they happened with uh, in the official and crypto community. I say in the official community. Uh, that would be like people, I think it was the head of the CIA at one time got SIM swapped. And so like high level officials were seeing some of these attacks. And that's because if you're going to bribe an employee, you better be bribing them. You better be bribing them in some way that you're going to get some big information. The crypto community, the reason why they were targets is because a lot of the crypto tokens are, what is it? They're very fast and the fact that you can get the money very quickly. Uh, in fact, one of my favorite jokes is if you want to learn cybersecurity, just buy a, you know, a percent of a Bitcoin or something because the bottom line is you'll be featured in one of the latest hacks. It seems like that community is always getting hacked with whatever the latest techniques are. And keep in mind, Bitcoin errors, they were getting hacked with SIM swaps. This is like, you know, five, six years ago. So they were getting, they've been hacked with this kind of stuff for a long time. Um, they will continue to spread because of linkability, which is last week's video. That's the reason why I started the security topics with linkability. It's probably one of the most important security topics. Because of linkability, hackers have numerous ways to attack you. And as people tie more of their life to their phone, uh, SIM swaps become an easy uh, target that allows hackers to compromise multiple parts of a person's life. Think about uh, the example we listed with Bob last week. You know, Bob's kids, Bob's home, Bob's network, Bob's friends. All of these things are tied a lot of times to like social media, which is then tied to your cell phone. Or maybe they're tied to email, which is then tied to your cell phone. But all of that's tied together. <clears throat> So this is for more security conscious people, but following in Troy Hunt's hack yourself first philosophy, one of the things that I would suggest for those of you who are security conscious is to SIM swap your own phone, your own cell if you have one, by providing as little of details as possible in your SIM swap self attack. So what you do is you'll buy a new phone and you'll swap your information, your meta information from your old phone uh, to your new phone just to, just to simulate this. Remember, this is your phone. I'm not talking about somebody else's. And see how easy it is see how little of information you have to provide to actually uh, to actually go through with this attack on yourself okay so you're not hacking somebody else you're not doing it with anybody else's you're doing it with just yours and you're trying to see just how little of information you can provide in this attack and many of you will it, it might seem convenient you might be like wow if i ever break my phone i can easily swap it to a no phone but those of you who are more security conscious you will realize that this is a huge, huge danger with cell phones. And so any cybersecurity group of people, any company, anyone who is asking for your cell phone for security purposes is, in my opinion, clueless and incredibly dangerous and should not be working in security because your cell phone is not secure. <laughs>